Hands together, please. All right, class, just a brief run through. We're going to be using some power teaching techniques today. Class, yes. Teach okay. And I hope your arms are loosened up because I will expect a few expressions. So today our theorist is L.L. Thurston. There are three key things that I would like you to know. The first is L.L. Thurston was a psycho, we have a gesture, <laughs> psychometrician, which I found out before class means that he uh, devised tests to measure mental abilities. Yeah, I didn't put too much in it because I didn't know we could look after one thing. But second thing, he studied under Thomas Edison and Thomas Edison has a light bulb above his head, I believe. And he also influenced Howard Gardner. So that's the second thing. The next thing, he developed the theory of primary mental abilities. So, theory of primary, theory, theory of primary mental abilities, which contains Seven, 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 seven factors. So I want you to turn to your partner and tell them the three things about L.L. Thurston. And I want to see some expressions. Class? Yes. All right. Ryan. Yes. Tell me one thing that you learned um, about Bill L. Thurston. He's a psychometrician. And what, what is a psychometrician? Um, he basically comes up with tests that measure mental ability. There you go. All right. Next thing, I'm going to hand out some reading slips for your reading pleasure. There are just a few brief things on here. Once you get your slip, I want you to read it over twice by yourself. And then I want you, once you've, each of you has finished reading it twice, then I want you to read it to your partner once. So each person will read it to their partner once. So it should be read a total of four times. So, and you can use gestures because there's some things like seven independent factors. <laughs> Should be five for that set. What is the feature of ground mental abilities? First, the behavior arises from seven independent independent factors called primary abilities. Nice work, Casey. Word fluency, verbal comprehension, spatial visualization, number of facility, associative memory, reasoning, and perception. The intuitive there's a challenge. Charles Spearman and his theory that intelligence was influenced by one general factor. G. Thurston's findings. He could not disprove G, so he compromised and devised a theory that accounted for a general factor and seven specific abilities. His impact. He helped lay the groundwork for future researchers who proposed higher 
hierarchical <coughs> hierarchical <coughs> theories and theories of merger is multiple intelligence. Specific class. Yes. I realize some of you may not have had the chance to read it to your partner. I'm sorry. If you'd like to after class, you guys can read all you want. Maybe commit it to memory. But see, can I have Am Horn tell me one thing you learned about L. L. Thurston from the slip? Who, uh, actually, who did who did he challenge? Uh, Whose theory did he challenge? No, uh, Charles Spearman. Charles Spearman, yeah. Yeah, and what was his theory about? It's about uh, primary mental abilities. All right, yes. Uh, Thurston's theory was about primary mental abilities. He believed there was more than one. He challenged Spearman, who believed there was only one, which is the little G in italics. All right, I'm going to leave you guys with Thurston's definition of intelligence. Intelligence, considered as a mental trait, is the capacity to make impulses focal at their early, unfinished stage of formation. Intelligence is therefore the capacity for abstraction, which is an inhibitory process. Can I hear your quote one more time? Intelligence, considered as a mental trait, is the capacity to make impulses focal at their early, unfinished stage of formation. Intelligence is therefore the capacity for abstraction, which is an inhibitory process. And that is all I have for you today. Actually, I do have some feedback forms.